Welcome to Lethal Hammer's channel. Uh, just wanted to touch base back with you guys and got some benchmarking and testing going on. I uh, got some new videos on their way, but uh, in this specific video I wanted to touch on the new Folding at Home GPU 3 client. As most of you know, I'm running two GTX 480 Hydro Coppers in SLI from EVGA. Um, in general, awesome cards, love them to death, uh, doing a couple new things with the system in general. That I'll also touch on some videos, I reversed the, the water flow and got some better temps out of the cards. Uh, but in general, today's video is again to focus on folding at home. Again, um, NVIDIA released the new 256 series drivers, which are actually dubbed 257.15, which are beta. And with that, uh, a couple new additions along with the new GPU3 release client um, have come. So just to quickly point out some of the new differences in the drivers, um, as you can see the control panel got their new layout which is awesome. Um, easy to see what's on physics, setting your physics, even an option to make, you know, just verify it's on the CPU in general. Why you would do that if you have a second card, I don't know, but you know, again, a um, lot of awesome settings. Um, as you can see, I'm running the cards in SLI. Uh, another big difference in these new drivers in the GPU3 client is you no longer have to disable SLI to run folding at home on multiple GPUs. Uh, this is also true for the GTX 295 cards uh, that are have two chips on one card in general. So um, that's a nice new feature built in. Um, so not having to disable SLI. The other, the biggest feature that is a change is the new CUDA GPU option in here. Um, it gives you an option to enable one or the other or none, or you can uh, select all of them uh, to be able to be enabled for CUDA. And with that, what this allows you to do is not have to hook up another monitor to the second card or have to use dummy plugs or anything like that. Um, awesome new feature. You know, no more extra cables, no more having to toggle multiple monitors, no more buying, uh, you know, little whatever resistors or whatever that you're using for the dummy plugs all that's gone uh, in the new beta set will that stay uh, that's unknown these are beta drivers but again um, really cool feature built in uh, but in general um, that's pretty much the biggest changes outside of that um, is the new clients um, the new GPU 3 client uh, the biggest thing is a lot of people are just wondering how many points per day these cards can turn out so far uh, the best I've seen is turning out a percent by about 29 uh, seconds per percent. So about, was that like 43 minutes, 44 minutes, something like that, um, per 610 points. Um, overall adds up pretty nicely. Um, I'll launch some clients here in a second. Just wanted to touch on a few things. Uh, one of the biggest things that f the new GPU 3 client that I'm seeing over the GPU 2 client um, is it's very finicky with overclocking. Um, you know, settings that I were rock solid to run 3D Mark Vantage and settings that were running other programs perfectly fine um, are crashing or causing unstable uh, folding um, in general. Uh, what will happen is the units will just pull up and say unstable core and they will crash after about, you know, 5 to 15 percent through a project. So uh, be very careful when you're overclocking your cards. Um, as you can see, I do have both of my cards. Uh, I guess like each individual one. They are both running at 902 on the core, 1803 respectively on the shader with a 2164 megahertz on the memory. Now again, as most of you know, the shader clock is the most important clock uh, for folding at home. That's what's really going to boost your points per day and give you, uh, you know, uh, some more points overall. Um, so with that, I mean, without getting into too many more explanations, um, really, as you guys also know, is the cards are on water, so you'll see that... Uh, the cards have dropped down to the lowest power state and they're idling around 34, 35 Celsius. It's about 80 degrees in the house and I believe it's a little over 95 right now outside and a nice little sunny California day. Um, but in general I'm using HFM net to track points per day and status and stuff like that. Um, uh, why am I totally blanking out here? FAHmon also tracks now. They've updated their client list or their project list. So it will track credits and whatnot, so you can give that a try. Um, also, the guys over at EVGA have a form thread where one of the form members there have created a, uh, a program um, that will also track stuff. So let's launch some clients and uh, see where we go from here. So the basic clients, as you'll see, they'll, uh, they'll shoot your GPU usage up right away. One thing to mention is... Uh, EVGA released Precision 
or 1.9.4, which it seems like since that release, GPU one has it it jumps up and down all the time. Um, I wasn't seeing this previously. I don't know if it's just a, a glitch in the program or what. Uh, I you know uh, GPU Z is also showing the same jump up and down in in data being calculated. But in general, it 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 does it for about 15 minutes and then it will pan out and actually start just focusing on folding and not have any problems. Um, we'll let these cores complete a couple and uh, you can see what kind of points they're turning out. Typically they'll they'll sit around seven or 17,500 range once they get settled in. Uh, but in general, very nice point additions. Uh, averages up pretty close to 33,000 uh, points per day for two cards. I am running a 980x. Um, I'm doing. I have both SMP clients and non-SMP. Sometimes, uh, you know, the SMP clients are a little bit more demanding and have longer timelines. So if I know that I'm, I'm not going to be around or don't want to run my PC 24/7, I won't run those. Uh, but with uh, HFM uh, .net, I have a couple different options, and uh, I'll show you the different layouts I have. So you can see, I got my. 980x with the different cores in here, and uh, sometimes I'll fire them up SMP, or I'll go back to the original just non-SMP clients that I have set up, uh, which actually aren't listed there because I removed them as I've forgotten. But anyways, this is folding at home GPU three client. Uh, in general, you see they're they're starting to settle in a little bit more, 30 seconds uh, per percent, not too shabby. Um, getting around 17,568. I have seen it hover around, you know, down to 29, 28 seconds, which will boost your points pretty close to 19,000 points per day. Um, haven't really been pushing with the clocks too much, as I was noticing a lot of instabilities, even at clocks that I know are rock solid, like in programs like Vantage and whatnot. So again, just watch your clocks. Make sure you don't have clients failing left and right uh, because of an unstable overclock. Uh, but again, thanks for watching the videos, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. And I got a lot more coming.